Welcome guys. Remember to use code RRFETCH in the item shop for ultimate good luck this season. Wow. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. Um, in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys basically what I like, just running through um, the new resolutions you guys can use and what's actually available right now on Fortnite. After the version 8.30 update, which actually took out stretch resolution and basically just ruined our game and experience because like, for me, stretch resolution was like, it was the best thing, like it was just so good. So um, in this video, we're just going to basically, I'm just going to end a creative right now and I'm going to show you what I believe right now, as of like after the update, is currently the best resolution you guys can use on Fortnite. This resolution doesn't require you to go into your game user settings. It literally requires you just to go in your settings cog right here on escape and just change it right here So yeah, let's just let's just get straight into it So yeah, if you go over to here where it says display resolution You've got um, 16 by 9 aspect ratios and you can get um, 16 by 10 if you go to windowed But these it's just like why would you want 16 by 10 because you're just gonna have your taskbar showing up here So yeah, make sure you guys stick with full screen It's just full screen gives you the like the least input th like input lag such input delay and you just get the best response time and better frames overall Full screen just tends to give you better frames. So there's no reason you should be using anything else unless you stream and have to keep switching between uh, monitors or like your streaming softwares or recording softwares etc. But yeah 16 by 9 I even use full screen and I'm a content creator so you have no excuse full screen. But yeah so you got all these 16 by 9 aspect ratios I think there's only three so you get the basic 1920 by 1080 which is native resolution and it's deemed as native it's a mo it's full HD or especially for Fortnite you can't get over this and then you've got 1280 by 720 and then you've also got 1600 by 900. I'm just going to tell you guys the difference 1280 by 720 basically same aspect ratio it's still native just at worst quality so it doesn't look very appealing i'm going to put it on now so as you guys can see it's it's horrible it's blurry and it generally hurts my eyes like everything looks a bit like choppy especially without anti-aliasing on which is like i have a lot of people have everything on low so if you don't have anti-aliasing on this just looks generally terrible terrible your card looks rigid it's like using the equivalent of 1080 by 1080 if you were to use that stretch resolution um, you'd get something that just very similar to this like that you'd get you'd get a similar um Quality to this and I I just hate it. I, you've got obviously competitive disadvantage here um, I guess like your frames are gonna be the benefit as you guys can see my frames went up by a good 20 now they're picking at 270 to 280 or 290 and that's nearly reaching 300 so it depends where I'm on the map I guess but um, my fans are like fairly good on this resolution but the game looks horrible you're not gonna let see players from a long distance and it, it tried to for me this hurts my eyes then we've got 1600 by 900 which is also 60 by 9 aspect ratio but is is it's still native but I feel like this is a new the king of resolution so I've got it on right now and as you guys can see there's not much of a difference in quality compared to this and native colors are just not as a vibrant I guess because of the quality defect and I feel like native is just too hard hitting on your eyes stranger eyes so much more because there's so much more like just definition to it I for me it's anyway with bad eyesight it does strain your eyes over, over overall especially if you used to play in stretch resolution which gives you a little bit of a defect in quality but what this quality over here does on um, 1600 by 900 quality is literally equivalent to using any stretch resolution above 12 12 7, 9. and then the same for the other resolution that's just equivalent quality if you're using 1080 by 1080 so if you guys are probably using um, a stretch resolution above 1080 by 1080 which a lot of people would have been this is just like this the only disadvantage you get is a quality and it's not that bad if you play stretch resolution anyway because this is the equivalent quality you would have got about the advantages overall like competitive advantage is going to be brought in from this resolution but only if you guys can see there's like 15 to 10 to 15 even like hitting 20 times fps increase which is going to be the overall like groundbreaker to why this is a great resolution but things like fps is like if you come across someone who has 300 fps and you have 60 fps that's just like it's not good you're gonna you're gonna potentially lose they've got fast reaction times that their game that is just processing and running so much faster the higher fps is a higher frames per second which is being emitted through your game and that's what you want the higher the better the most frames you can squeeze out of your graphics card your cpu all your components in your pc the most frames you can squeeze out of that into one game is the best so whatever you can do to get frames like for example you might have been using stretch resolution for the extra frames this is like the equivalent if you guys are one of them who are annoyed that you have to play native because um basically using stretch helps your fps this is a thing for you uh, you can still see far, you can still get that, that distance on players, you're not going to have to use anti-aliasing in your settings, 
you can still use full low settings you can use this you're gonna get the FPS increase which helps you out for end games because um, you're just gonna be getting that additional FPS where your FPS would usually drop so in Tilted you're gonna get that 15 extra FPS you if you have a low PC could be extremely vital but if you play a lot of arena end games are gonna be hard hitting on your frame so um, the, this is just like for me this is it, it's just it's just one of them it, it, I like it because it not for the frames like, as you guys can see I'm getting like 200 frames and I, I get pretty good frames anyway but I feel for, like generally this this doesn't strain my eyes as much and that the extra frames end game they can you can like really need them at times so yeah overall guys this is the way to go 1600 by 900 there's not much more I can say for it it's been recommended by a lot of pros who are currently streaming and um, getting forced to, to use this in the a 60 by 9 aspect ratio in the World Cup. So yeah, this is the way to go. My opinion, competitive advantage is, is that it, there's, there's definitely some there. There's, there's definitely there's definitely competitive advantage. And, and that's overall, that, that's what you want in Fortnite. The better advantage you can get over your players, the, the better your game experience is going to be. So yeah, anyway guys, Fortnite made this quick video about this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Farfetch. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys show some love. Subscribe, all of that good stuff, and yeah, peace.